Check this out. While millions of lay people around the world are recognized as catechists in their parish or diocese, Pope Francis is preparing to formally institute the ministry of catechist. Catechists are the leaders of the local Catholic community, evangelizing, convoking, and guiding their fellow Catholics in prayer and works of charity. Why now, some may ask? Well, for the exact same reason the Pope is the one that spearheaded the pandemic in the first place. Satan knows his time is short, and he knows the latter rain is soon to fall upon the rim that people so as to increase their portion of the Holy Spirit, which then grants them even more clear biblical truths, as well as increased courage to present it to the souls the Lord sends their way. This final message will cause many all over the world to leave their fallen churches, regardless of what religion they hold to. As prophesied, the loud cry will be that clearly presented to all nations. The dying God of Rome is doing all he can via the man of sin to assure that when we the obedient remnant people are granted this prophesied refreshing from on high to go forth with the last message of mercy, the Pope is moved by Satan to put in place as many obstacles in our path as he can in the hopes that he can slow and even stop the work in some areas. We do a study on San Ballot and his satanic message when Nehemiah was preparing the wall eons ago. Are we not the prophesied repairers of the breach for the end of days? And so we must expect the demon of San Ballot to be very active now. All the unjust laws that seek to restrict travel for those without a poisonous vaccine, all the social distancing, all the closed churches, and all the removal of free speech on and offline is Satan's anxiety-filled attempt at stopping what is soon to happen. Again, he knows his time is short. He is literally running scared now. As per the Pope's declaration the other day, when we go forth in the loud cry, we all need to expect the Catechist of Rome is going to be right behind us, hoping to twist the final truth we present so as to stop precious souls from being ready for the return of Christ, just as the Pharisees did unto the apostles 2,000 years ago. As we saw, they failed to stop the formation of the Christian church back then. And so, those very same catechists are going to fail at stopping God's people from being ready for the coming of the Lord. You simply cannot stop Christian prophecy. Just as all the prophecies of the past fulfilled to the letter, so will the last one. And by the way, as soon as you present the truth to the souls the Lord sends your way, before leaving them, let them know that the Catechist of Rome is coming. And they're not just going to be coming from the Catholic churches. They're going to come from every single church, including the SDA church. Because as prophesied, they're all working for Rome now. In fact, they have already begun to twist the truth we preach, as well as soil the image of Christ, and so plant that seed so as to better prepare them for the expected Roman gang. This is a holy war. We all need to study and wield the sword of the Lord, which is, of course, your Bible. And we need to wield this sword in a way that only the obedient remnant people are prophesied to do. In so doing, many precious souls will have the opportunity to hear truths they never heard before, which will then bless them with a desire to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior from death as well as eternal damnation. Thank you for watching. God bless.